On to the next topic. Where is Princess Kate? Now, you, you've been spending a lot of time so piecing I this together. Go. I have something prepared. And okay. this, and I actually was going to do a segue. She's so proud of it. I'm so proud of her. I was actually going to do a segue <laughs> from the movies because this also features a, um, I think it was an, an Academy nominated film yes, as yes, well. Yes. Let me just get this right. All right, let's go. Oh, there's a lot of moving parts. Gone Girl, one. Kate Middleton's version. Yes. All right. So yeah. welcome to my TED talk <laughs> of what's been going down with Kate and Middleton. We're we really phrasing this as a TED talk. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Go. So I'm just going to walk. TED everyone. talk is 15 minutes, but oh, well, <laughs> there's going to be a bit more in between, you know. Okay. So go. let me just set the premise of, you know, I'm going to walk through the timeline of what's happened so far. Because if you haven't been on the internet... Or not interested in it. So this is brand new inter- information. If you haven't, if you have not been enthralled in this week, I got you, okay? Literally every time that I have to go to the bathroom mid, mid, <laughs> mid like in the midnight because I need to pee, I'm literally on Twitter and then something What's else has the come up. Update? And yeah. it's just been insane. I'm And let me let me also say that I have, I'm not a fan of The Crown. But I best believe it, I will be watching the next season, even though it's been said that it's done. They've got another season in them. They're going to go again. They've trust got me. Material. All right. So, Gone Girl, Kate Middleton's version. Yeah. I'm going to give a quick timeline sponsored by Time Magazine. Thank you. Because you've got to quote your sources, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, in December of 2023, no, yes. 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 <laughs> so, you know, the royals, they have to go about and, and and do their duties, right? As they're, they're you know, uh, being amongst the people and whatnot. And, you know, at, as of every year, Christmas Day, it's no different. They have their service, you know, every, all the, all the fans are all being the traditional like, you stuff. know, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like waving to the, the royal family. They wave back, etc. cetera, et cetera. Solid yes. waving action. This is the last known public appearance of Kate Middleton. Yep. All right. Just so you know. Yes. We go into January this year. So there was an article that was put out by the royal family PR, I guess, that, you know, Kate is out of service for up until end of March because she has a planned abdominal surgery that is uh, expected for her to recover in two weeks, but she will not be doing any public appearances up until end of March, which is going to be Easter time, Sounds which yes. makes sense, right? Okay. Get in front of the tabloids, yeah. So, pointing it out here, as is expected, and, you know, they like to put out some good publicity uh, publicity for their boy, Will. Um, okay, Will Will went to the hospital. Great. That's what you're supposed to do minimum. as a husband. That's what you're <laughs> supposed to do. You're supposed to be there the whole time. Meanwhile, I'll also flag at this point of time, you which I've realized I haven't put into my bloody notes here, that there's been pictures that have been circulating on the internet that happened at this time, but has now come back as proof as there was a whole convoy of Range Rovers and ambulances that left the Sandringham uh, Palace, which I believe that's where they live, or Windsor, I don't know. You know, fi- you figure it out, right? <laughs> and everyone, the, 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 they had the, 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 what you call it, the... The royal family did not say anything about it. There's been no um, kind of explanation for it. They've just stuck to the story of the abdominal surgery. Oh, no. Cool, Ooh. right? Meanwhile, well, but like I think this happens afterwards as well. We've got to remember that the current king, Prince, uh, uh, I nearly said Prince Charles, <laughs> king, king Charles, he's also got cancer, right? Yes. So he's having to deal with that. Now Kate's gone. And then I think Camilla went off for a week as well. And everyone's just starting to think, Oh, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on with the royals? What's going on, right? Yes. And then obviously, you know, Harry and Meghan, they're off doing their thing, enjoying their best life. Yes. So it's like, what's what's happening, right? See, this is what happens. Old girl, the queen, we love you. Come back. <laughs> You're holding it together. You're holding it all together. You're now it's all falling apart. Floor. And so then on the 29th that they reported that, you know, she's making good progress and she goes home, okay? Again, we, see, we don't see any photos of her. Like, so... If, uh, I'll make it this point actually right now. It is very well known that the royal family have a chokehold on the UK press. Mm-hmm. So they're the ones that, you know, they always leak whatever. The, there's, there's allegations that they've leaked certain stories against certain people. There's um, They're always going to, again, put their boy Willie in good light because he's the chosen one for the next round. Do you love, um, William? Do you love William? And obviously we don't even need to get into it. The whole Diana debacle, right? RIP. Mm-hmm. So there's that, right? Then we're into February 
Um, no surprise. There's no, there's no real major update there. They're like, it's the same as January. What we told you, don't worry about it. It's all fine. Right. <laughs> Not at all suspicious. Whoa, whoa, Not at all whoa. suspicious. <laughs> and then we happen into March. These past two weeks have been ridiculous. Okay. So we're talking about the fact that, okay. So you got to keep in mind, they keep saying to us, she's away till March 31st. Don't worry about her. She's fine. But then all of a sudden on the 4th of March, there is an unofficial photo that is released by TMZ. I don't know why the US are getting involved <laughs> in this now, but the UK, they've, they've been told there's a media ban. They're like, Vested the royal interest. family is like, no, nope, don't, don't release anything. But it's a grainy ass photo with Kate and her mom. Grainy and let's be real. Photo. Let's be real. There's a bit of the, it feels a bit of speculation as well on the photo, the validity of the photo before we get to the actual photo, because she looks kind of different. She looks like a bit like her sister, Pippa. Also, she looks like maybe something's happened to her face. Where's Don't know. This is, again, speculation. Like... Pippa be fit. <laughs> Pippa <laughs> is fit. But they've also got different faces, right? So anyway, so that's that. Then, <laughs> finally, we'll get to the piece de resistance. The whole reason why. On the 10th of March, a Mother's Day photo was released <laughs> by the... By the... By the... What are they? The, 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 the prince and pr princess of Wales now? I'm yes. going to say that very specifically because Prince and Princess of Wales. Where have we heard that before? Charles and Diana. Let that sizzle for a bit, right? So she released the photo on the grams, has not been seen for the last, you know, four months and saying that, you know, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Now, Because in Britain, they have their Mother's Day. Yeah, well, the, uh, yeah, yeah it's, all, it's all out of whack, right? We agree on the metric system, but we don't <laughs> agree on everything else, right? So whatever. Um, so... Um, Kev, just for your reference, because I know, Kat, you would have seen I've that, seen right? It, yes. Kev, have you seen this photo? Is it uh, this one? The one on the right? Yes. The, 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 the one. The colored one. The colored one, yes. So I, mean, I can't see any abdominals. In it. Like, I mean, what I mean is like, <laughs> like, it looks like a normal photo. How can you tell if it's photoshopped? So... There are key details in this photo where bra. You're talking about the hair. All these, all these like amazing sleuths on the internet where you know get a real job. You don't need the sis. CIA. You don't need the FBI. All you need, you need is, people is, on from is, Twitter. is is people from Twitter who can point out specific things. And this is why I, I show this to you because AI, mate, bro, AI, Photoshop is real. So there's the hair detail. There's the weird, awkward hand positions with the, the children, that, the wrist. Yeah. Oh, what's going on with bloody Louis' finger again? Like, and this one I will discredit because apparently yeah, he's grip. got his fingers like this. He's that's, doing the Wu Tang sign or something like grip. that. That's a jiu jitsu grip. Um, that's how you take so that back. I can, I can uh, like, it's excuse. not yeah, that I can excuse because kids be playing like that, right? Yeah. Anyway, but there's all of these things that you know, like have brought into uh i guess the, the photo into question and key details that the good people at twitter have pointed out is these outfits look very similar to an appearance by the children and kate in a previous uh, appearance in like november december mm -hmm. they note that you know the shoes that she was the boots was wearing is the same although her what you call it the what's this the turtleneck thingy the jumper yes. that she's wearing yes. it was white Yes. Yet in this thing, all of a sudden, it's black. Yes. And you know how crazy the internet is. I'm just going to touch on this very quickly. They found the... So there's a whole lot of blogs that, you know, they talk about what are the royals wearing because, you know, they, they wear nice stuff, right? Yes. This blog said that, oh... It only comes in two colors, white and cream or something, or tan or something like I'm that. I'm talking about the shoes. No, the, 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 the jumper. jumper. Oh my and all God. of a sudden, it's black. Guys, it so it's like... And isn't it that they lined up that her face in the photo yes! is similar <laughs> to a magazine Vogue. photo shoot? Yes. Yeah. Like so her face is the it. same face. Of course. Well, okay, so on. this one, this one, this is where it's, it kind of feels like, oh yes, the Clutching props straws, that, the props that you've used is very well. Like it makes me believe. Clutching and there is a bit straws. of question, right? But what they're arguing is, is that the same photo that has been used for a Vogue magazine has been, uh, like rotated mm. to sit where the where where her face, face is, is on this photo be, yes um and it's like perfect, perfect alignment overlay. so all your photography bros and brosefs are coming out saying like you know i know photography the lighting doesn't <laughs> fit right the 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 placement of everything feels a bit too weird etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm -hmm. so there's all this hoopla about this photo right mm -hmm. mind you 
I must also say that there's a couple of major things, right? First of all, where's Kate's ring in this photo? Mm-hmm. There's no ring on her finger. Mm-hmm. No and also, finger. where was where was Will? Yeah. Turns out Will took the bloody photo, didn't he? Or did he? <laughs> right? He did. It's unfocused in the center, so <laughs> <laughs> it looks well, like a photo Will would take. So you know, the internet blows up, like what the hell is going on? The media is like, what is this? This looks fake, etc. Then overnight, well, this is my overnight. This is probably their daytime. <laughs> reputable image companies like Getty, AP, all of those people are saying like they start putting kill notices out for the photo and saying that because it kill is notice? it is a apparently it is a notice that they publish out that says this photo Needs should be not removed. be should not be used or circulated further because it is misleading and the source is um, uh, in doubt. Now they have only previously used this for North Korea, so this Jeez. is dire straits right Jeez. now. Right? This is dire straits. What's happening here? Right? Wow. The royal family is being questioned. The, the, <laughs> what is happening? The queen is like the queen would never have this. <laughs> it's falling apart. Right. Anyway, this is much to do about <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so, then, so then all of a sudden, who has to take the fall for this? Of course, Kate does, right? Because she's not even there at the moment. So then Kate <laughs> issues an apology saying that, you know, from time to time, as we all do, we'd love to do a bit of Photoshop. What so the- what she said, she Photoshopped it. Yeah. Who yeah. the hell likes to do Photoshop from time to time? <laughs> who, who, who? Like, don't they have their people to Photoshop? <laughs> they would have, surely they have interns and you yes. know, like and off with their head. Like if they, if they fuck it up, right? I don't know. Anyway. Hey, so. family show. Oh, and then also <laughs> they released a photo of Kate with Will in the car to prove that she's there, but to prove was, that she's alive. But it was very grainy as but well. But it's a very it? grainy photo. <laughs> she's looking away as well. And there's also speculation that they've sourced this photo from another event because why the hell would she be wearing a hat on a normal day, yes. she's not going to an event or anything. Yes. So everyone's like, where's Kate, right? Let's now, go. Before I get into the where's Kate of it all, right? I need to set some further context. Oh my God. This is going to probably be half an hour now that I realize it. We'll call it the right? Okay, anyway. So let's set some context of what's happening, how we've gotten to this point, et cetera, right? For those that aren't in the know. So first and foremost, what is the, so what is the drama that has surrounded Kate in recent times? Or in her past life that has led up to this. First, we got Megan. Yeah? We got Megan Michael. Yeah? There's talks about, you know, bullying, that there was competition between them. And then obviously there's some bro beef like that's happening that they've been influenced by because mm-hmm. obviously Will and Harry don't get along Bro's because Will is out, a piece yeah. of shit, oh. allegedly. Oh. Um, <laughs> and then also there was the famous. Uh, wedding debacle where yes. charlotte had a big dress and then kate was text messaging megan before the wedding like this is days before number one pro tip you never stress out a bride before their big day how dare you you know what it's like what mm-hmm. are you doing anyway so anyway there's all that drama llama right yes how did you get all these sticky notes and that, from weighs, it? <laughs> and that weighs a lot on people okay now the second point i'd like to talk about in all of this a factor if you will if I can get the bloody thing coming up. Oh my god. <laughs> Racism! Get those sticky tapes up, man. We're in a recession, man. So, in line with the Megan thing, the reason why they've all fallen out is because, oh, no. you know, the, the famous, <laughs> the famous, uh, infamous, sorry, oh, yeah. I'll say, uh, allegations that, you know, somebody in the royal family is a bit racist. Yes. Because they're concerned about. Uh, the color of baby Archie's skin because, yes. of course, it's a bi- it's a biracial baby. Yes. So you know and the bloodline, blah, the, blah, blah, all blah. that stuff, right? Eurocentric, yes. Now Kate is allegedly, allegedly could be one of the could be that person who, who may have said that comment. comment. Yes. So you know that's a lot of stress that can happen, right, to somebody, you know, amongst all this context, right? Yes. Now third number three. Obviously, we got William, right? We got William here, right? So let me do a quick context about the relationship of Kate and Will, right? So one, they, they met during uni mm-hmm. and it is, it is very famously told that Kate had actually changed her uni selection to basically be around Will. I think it was like St. Andrew's College or something like that. 
that's point number one, right? That's like kind of woo woo alarm bells, kind of gold digging style aspirations. You know, you're in your own, you're the main character in your own movie, that well, type of thing, right? Because also, isn't it apparently her mother played a factor in that too? Yes. Of wanting her to in be. In setting it up. Thank yes. you. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Okay. So we got that. So obviously, there is the infamous, uh, what you call it, story where, you know, to get Will's attention, because uh, Kate was in fashion when she was younger, she was hustling in this like very see-through dress that is, you know, supposed to woo the man, etc. So get his interest going, right? <laughs> this was in the later season of The Crown. Correct. <laughs> correct. It's factually correct because it's uh, they made a TV show about it and it's true, right? Number five. It's important to point out here when they started dating that there was also rumors of, you know, concern about um, Kate Middleton. Mm -hmm. Now, why is Kate, why would they be concerned about Kate Middleton? Because she's from working class. She's a commoner. Who else was a commoner back in the day? Who? Princess Di. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> the lines are paralleling, right? Okay. <laughs> so the then obviously. Lines are paralleling. Horse. Alleged horse Camilla over here was apparently at this point in time, she's like, you know, taking the throne as you know, like the throne Diana is now supposed mm -hmm. to be the stepmother and whatnot was a bit concerned that, you know, she's not worthy of William's love and affection because, you know, she's seen that in her past life, hasn't she? Then they split up for a bit. Kate becomes a party girl in her glossy posse era. And, you know, she builds up all of her, like her profile and esteem and that, that of course, Will has to come back to her, right? Yes. They then then get engaged in 2010. And he had the audacity to use Diana's ring. After he said so much shit about her. Oh, I don't think he said about it at that point of time, but you know what I mean. Right? Yes, yes. Anyway, and then now obviously Kate is now primed to be the next queen consort because Charles is clearly boy. like, he's only got a certain shelf life to go. <laughs> and then obviously Will's next, right? So you don't yeah. think it's all be peachy between them knowing that, you know, you're going to be the next like ruler and whatnot. But that sets up for the drama, doesn't it? Let's go. Here we go. Now. <laughs> This Where did you get all these <laughs> things from, man? <laughs> this is now the conspiracy time of the piece de resistance of what I'm going to go through. All yes. right. Let's so go. let's run through the theories that we have now that we've set up the context and everything. And thank you to the good people on Twitter. I cannot source all of you, but like you're doing God's work <laughs> in, in this place and being, you know. Keen eye reporters or whatever, right? And this is all speculation. I must stress all this. All right? alleged. Now, you know, why? where is Kate? Why is she gone, right? So the first theory that we have here, if I can get the bloody <laughs> thing out, sorry, <laughs> is obviously stress, right? It's stress. So, you know, she's supposed to come back in time in Easter. That's, you know, to be confirmed. And, you know, it's all about abdominal surgery and whatnot. But if you're telling me that her, you know, its recovery takes two weeks, then why is she out for so long, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, could she be taking a break? Could there be, you know, discourse amongst the family that, you know, has caused her, caused her all this stress that, you know, she's like, yeah, I just need to cool my jets for a bit because, you know, I've been running with this family for so long. It's like, i got to do me. Mental yes. health is very important. That's no joke, okay? Yes. In light of everything that was happening with Megan and whatnot, right? Yeah. And Harry, right? So there's that. Now, two. I should not have taken that one out, but anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> marital distress. Obviously with Will, right? You're causing marital distress now. <laughs> John, stop. Stop. It's going to get stuck to her lip. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, marital distress. Rumors of marital distress. It's been it's been uh, well documented, you know, that... Um, that uh, Will doesn't the doesn't the apple he doesn't fall. That the apple doesn't fall far 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 from the tree, right? The you know, tree, yes. you know, yeah. Like mm. so, there's you know allegations of affairs. There's allegations that he likes to do pegging as well. So you know, there's that. What can you do, right? It's pegging. So that leads into the next point. Now I have to fold this up. I told myself <laughs> I had to fold this up. <laughs> Where is Hanber Hanberry? Right? Who's this random chick? Right? So apparently she's the <laughs> Marchionis. What is up with you? I just of Chumley. <laughs> of Chumley. Now it's not spelt like how it's I said it, but it's Chumley. Allegedly, All right. that's how it's said. Alleg allegedly, that's how it's said, right? Now <laughs> she is apparently 
a uh, she was a neighbor of Will and Kate's mm -hmm. in the year, in in 2019 in Summer State, etc. And they became really good mates, right? So as I said, as I said, she's married to this guy called David Rock Savage, who's the the equivalent, the male equivalent of this of that, role, of whatever Shanghai. that is, right? <laughs> and he is 63 years old. They have about two children together. Now it is alleged that wait, stop. It is alleged that it is an arranged marriage in the sense that all he wants from her is hair. Like all he wants is babies so that they can bring the lineage through yes. because apparently he is gay inclined. So there's context for alleged. you, right? Alleged. Alleged, alleged right? <laughs> now, in light of all of this, right? I'm telling you all of this. Why? Why? Right? Because in 2019 as well, there was an alleged fallout between Kate and Rose. Now, why is that? What could have possibly happened, right? Will! <laughs> Will is the problem! Because apparently there's the alleged affair. Between and them. now what's happening is apparently Rose is pregnant with Will's baby. Let that, let that sink in for a bit, Eat right? Dad. That's no bueno, right? That's no good. Now, in light of all of this, where is Kate business? There was an article that was released by a UK press that, that started to introduce who is Rose Hanberry in all of this. So what are they doing? They're soft launching the mistress. This is a different decade, same bullshit, same history. Some shit's going down, right? Yes. It's Camilla 2.0. Okay. The patterns are patterning. The patterns are patterning indeed. And where am I, where am I going now? <laughs> oh, five. Okay. Sorry. I'm nearly done. I promise. This is just taking a lot harder I love than I thought. This. Okay, <laughs> now let me introduce one more other name to you. Okay, it is Thomas Kingston. Now, who is that guy? Apparently, he's the ex of Pippa Middleton, but also apparently had an alleged affair with Kate Middleton. Jeez. Now, why is that? So the the, the word on the street is that allegedly that Kate found out about this situation. She wasn't happy about it. So then she ended up going having an affair with this guy and was like to Will, hey, look at me now, power play. I'm going to, I can, I can do the same, right? So then things apparently, allegedly transpired where, so she told Will about it. Then Will and Thomas had a fight about it. And apparently there's a photo of Will where he was bruised on the face. And then uh, a, couple of, a couple of weeks later or whatnot, months later, Thomas Kingston mysteriously died of like trauma wounds on like in February this year. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, 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 and why, why is that? Why is that? Because apparently there's also another baby. <laughs> there's another baby in the midst. And that's the whole reason why Kate had to get abdominal surgery because she was told to abort the baby, but she wanted to apparently keep it. That's the word on the street. Allegedly. Right <laughs> now, in light of all this situation, the recent drama that's happening now is that apparently now Kate's going to be MIA until June. They so there is supposed it. to be there is supposed to be a sovereign birthday that happens. And, you know, it's this it's the thing where all the royal family stand on the, you know, the, the balcony and they and wave, wave and whatnot. Apparently her name has been removed off the list as a guest. So what's going on? Is it future? Is it, is it complications? Is it, you know, is she dead? <laughs> Or is she just playing chicken with Will to get to a point of, you know, either drop her or else like I'm, I'm out of here. But then really, what's her leverage if, you know, if history is shown that they're, they'll, they'll, get, they're rid of, afraid, they'll get rid of the first wife. It don't yes. matter. It don't matter because it always apparently mar matters about the guy. Yes. This is why we need Queen, Queenie back in the midst. But, you know, the, yes. well, what, can, what can we do? And that's um, she. I, maybe that's why Queenie left because there was this was brewing. It was too much. It's what, what's all of this? this it's too brewing. much. You see the red? You see the red? Anyway, <laughs> um, that rests my case. That that <laughs> deserves an applause. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Thoughts, oh feelings, emotions. Just exactly. come on, show them. Kate, Kate. <laughs> Where is Kate? 